Hey guys, it's Daniel here. I am testing the Insta360 One uh, because it's just had a firmware upgrade. And what this firmware does is massively improve the stabilization. So we're gonna see exactly how much it's improved. Gonna show you some clips uh, on a bike. I'm about to go running, so we're gonna see how much it's improved. And they've completely changed the software for how you deal with overcapture, free capture. So I'm gonna show you how that works as well. And basically, you can download this software update now if you've got an Insta360 One. And yeah, uh, get all the same things you're about to see right now. Right, so I'm gonna go for a run. We're gonna see how the stabilization works. Insta360 are calling their new stabilization flow state and essentially it's supposed to mimic what would be uh, possible with a gimbal or something that manually stabilizes the footage and as you can see I'm running with the camera and it's very very smooth so compared to what it was last time uh, it's a huge improvement this would have been very shaky footage uh, in the previous firmware so this is definitely definitely a big improvement and uh, not only have they improved the stabilization but they've also improved how uh, the camera can lock on to a specific point like you see here and follow it it does that a lot more accurately it does that a lot more smoothly than it did before so you can see here i'm walking along with the camera and it's barely noticeable that um it's you know moving at all but it is moving in reality the camera is bobbing up and down um yet you can't really tell that here so uh, the the stabilization has improved massively with this new firmware update which is available now so you can go and download it if you have an insta 361 and just update your firmware get the new app and you'll see what it can do Right, so right now I'm on a bike and uh, the camera was vibrating quite a lot here, as you can imagine, anything attached to a bike usually vibrates, and yet you can't really notice it at all, you can notice some tiny little vibrations maybe, but barely anything to suggest that the camera is moving quite a lot, as you can see here. Um, the wheel shaking, the camera was shaking, yet the footage is very smooth. I'm very, very pleased with how this has turned out. And even, even here I'm running my fastest with the camera attached to a selfie stick and you know it's jumping up and down, bobbing around, moving about and yet you can barely tell. This is super super smooth stabilization, um, only a possible with a few other cameras, maybe the Rilo uh, is the only other camera that can do it quite as well as this. Now I'm going to be doing a comparison between the Rilo and this camera with this stabilization to see exactly which one is best. Um, so we'll see what happens there. Now this is the new firmware, the new software that allows you to edit and over capture, free capture your 360 video. It's been completely transformed and um, talking about the Rilo, it's basically almost identical to the way they did it. Um, you tap on a screen, you get three options. One follows, one creates a point where the camera will pan to and the other will allow you to basically move your camera around, or sorry, move your phone around and film kind of from the video. So um, wherever you move your camera, wherever you point, that will record in the phone and that's what the final video will look like. So it's almost if you're filming it after you filmed it, if that makes sense. So you can see here what that looks like and um, it works quite well. Sometimes the software doesn't quite pick up what you want it to do, especially with this tracking. Um, the tracking doesn't work, you know, five times out of 10, I have to retry it. So there are still some bugs there, there's still some things to work on. But overall, it's a huge improvement and I'm really, really happy with it. It certainly makes this an even better value camera than it was before. So the Insta360 one is certainly retaining its value in 2018. So yes, this, uh, this firmware update is gonna make a huge improvement to everyone's camera. Uh, so it certainly makes this a much more attractive prospect if you're looking for a 360 camera with super smooth stabilization this is now one of these cameras so like i say this is called flow state but it's just all part of a firmware upgrade you just need to download the firmware um, and update the app and you'll have all these controls available and all these extra things that uh, the new firmware brings so thanks for insta 361 for giving me exclusive access to this firmware update before it came out so that i could go test it i've had plenty of fun with it and i hope you do too so um, until next time i'll see you around i'm dan also known as the 360 guy so yeah see you next time